Is Pamela Fryman directing most of How I Met Your Mother, an uncommon practice? Does that give her more like a showrunner type role? Okay, so I worked with Pam Fryman for many years on Just Shoot Me, and so much about what I know about directing, I learned directly from her, and I kept, I kept notes, put them all in here. Uh, and she was always very generous with her time, sharing her knowledge with me, I and mean, she's a lovely, wonderful person. Uh, but How I Met Your Mother is not, I, I talked about single camera shows, that's what we're talking about, but How I Met Your Mother is neither a multi-camera show nor a single camera show, it's what we call a hybrid. So. That show was, uh, the production schedule was a little bit more like a single camera show. They didn't shoot in front of a studio audience. They did a lot of pre-taping. And, uh, and in flashbacks, I believe they used more single camera techniques. But because it had that multi-camera element of all those four cameras and on a soundstage, uh, they were able to realize this uh, in a weeks of production as opposed to a true single camera show. Now, Pam is an amazing director. She's certainly one of the most sought after, if not the most sought after director uh, in intelligent comedy. Uh, and I believe for three reasons. One, she's incredibly technically proficient, like you're saying. She knows how to, she really knows how to make, get those shots because when you're building a show, it's really built in the editing room. So you wanna make sure you have all the right coverage that you're gonna need because you're gonna decide in the editing room, you know what, I wish I had a single of that instead of a, a wide shot or whatever. So Pam's obviously great at that. Uh, two, she really knows how to take the comedy in the script and bring it to the next level, to really push it up. Uh, and, and she does that, I believe, with because of her energy. She has such a wonderful, uh, almost like a calming, very nurturing energy. And that I believe gives the actors a safe space to try new things. And then when they're not right, uh, they trust her. She's, she's so confident they trust her when they, she says, nah, that, maybe that's not right, maybe try it this way. But she's not bossy at all. It's really more protective and nurturing. And so because of those things, those three things which are really amazing, that's why I believe she's so sought after. And so that doesn't make her a showrunner though. The showrunners are Bayes and Thomas and it was really their creative vision that she was uh, executing, and that is no small task, you know? And so because of that, she was given the executive producer title, but no, she's not the showrunner. The showrunner are those two guys. Uh, they created the show, and ultimately, you know, they decide what stories are gonna be told and how they're gonna be told. But I'll do a separate video on some of the things that Pam taught me and what it's like to be a writer uh, on set while the director is actually directing. That'll come up next, so keep following me here. That Michael Jammin, writer.